Hello, everybody, and welcome to our latest version of the Pharmaversity podcast. Um, today, I've got our expert Lise Soyer with us. She will talk about the topic of container closure integrity at cryogenic temperatures. Um, so maybe before we dive into the topic, Luis, would you mind to introduce yourself? Yes, thanks, Anne. So let me shortly introduce myself. So I have worked in upstream processing with Merck Medipore and Paul, and then downstream processing with West and Shop. And currently, I am in charge of business development for steroid solutions for Shop in Europe and mainly for Vios. Great. So we've been talking before, of course, uh, so I've learned that uh, you, together with RMO Life, uh, performed a study on container closure integrity, which is today's topic, uh, under cryogenic temperature conditions. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, yes, this is right. Okay, you are right. Uh, many of our customers in the, in the cell and gene therapy field shared with us their difficulties to find a suitable primary packaging solution. So we clearly identified the need to offer a pre-qualified solution to optimize the time to market and maximize the cell and gene therapy developers' chances of success. So we collaborated with Aremon Life to lead this uh, evaluation. And as we are talking here about a full packaging solution, means glass containers plus closure systems, it's key to tackle this challenge on a system approach. That makes sense. So it's difficult to, to solve the problem just by ourselves. Exactly. So now um, I'm, of course, not a scientist, so I will need a little bit more of your help here. Can you maybe explain a little bit more about what exactly cryogenic conditions are and how are they useful in pharma? Okay, okay, absolutely, absolutely. So first, uh, ATMPs, which are the advances therapy medical pro medicinal products, need to be stored at very low temperature to preserve the activity of the drug. So gene therapy product consists in plasmid, which really is a virus vector plus a transgen and require, requires cold storage in a range of minus 20 until minus 80 degrees C in a, in a mechanical freezer. The cell therapy products contains an entire living cell Cryo storage is between minus 80 and minus 180 in liquid nitrogen and is required to block all bioactivity while preserving the viability of the cells. However, the challenge, the challenge for the packaging is to keep the, its tightness. The CCIT, which is a container closure integrity testing, needs to be preserved makes sense uh, that seems difficult um so you were talking about cell uh, therapy as well as gene therapy and i've heard about that quite a lot um lately it seems to be a very hot topic in the pharma world isn't it indeed it's a topical subject the potential and the hopes are huge in many aspects so this new therapeutic approach will allow curing many rare diseases today there is no cure for the vast majority of rare diseases affecting 320 million people worldwide and many children. So keep in mind that more than 7,000 rare diseases are identified and more than 85% of them have been identified as having a genetic mutation as a root cause. So cell and uh, gene therapy and cell therapy a major growth opportunity for pharma industry uh, with more than 366 gene therapy drugs under development and more than 30 in phase three. And recently, the COVID-19 pandemic propelled gene therapy approach even more on the forefront as most vaccines under development are mRNA based. This highlights the potential even for big scale treatments. So it's a big market and also a big patient group that can be addressed here. Exactly. 
So I understand there, there's a lot of um, diseases that may be treated through cell and gene therapy, but what does that actually, how does it work? What does that actually mean? Um, I understand that it's got something to do with uh, DNA that is somehow used to treat cells and I guess to allow them to function properly again. And you have hit the nail of the head. Yeah. Gene therapy aims to restore the function and slow, and slow the disease progression, which could potentially enable a patient to manage their sickness without needing any treatment. It's a, it's a very huge uh, advantage. So when one of your genes is defective, then it creates a disease. By injecting the healthy gene associated with a vector, like adenovirus, for example, you restore the cell function. There is no further need for any treatment. In the case of COVID-19 virus, mRNA enters in cell and is used to produce a viral antigen protein. This viral antigen is released in the body and mimic the process by which natural viral infection occur. This, can, this cannot only be a potential enhance of the immune response, but also improve B and T cell responses. Thank you. Um, absolutely makes sense. So it, it helps the, the body to defend, defend itself against um, exactly. viruses. Exactly. It's okay. a vaccination. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've been asking so many questions, sorry, this is very interesting to me. Um, but let's get back to our main topic. Um, what does cell and gene therapy and their requirements of cryogenic conditions have to do with our primary packaging? Ah, okay, good, good point. So the, the storage temperature are very challenging for the primary packaging, that's the point. The integrity of the packaging system is a complex interplay of the vial, the rubber stopper, and the cream cap, but also the capping process itself. For example, the equipment, the choice of parameters, the range, the ranges. So the field vial are closed at room temperature, then placed in a deep cold storage, creating vacuumed condition inside the vial. First challenge. Then. Uh, Extreme low temperature have physical effects on the components. The glass transition temperature of the rubber is about minus 60 degrees Celsius. And below this TG, rubber, uh, TG temperature, rubber is brittle. Coefficients of thermal expansion of materials is, is material specific. Again, another challenge. So, Ensuring CCI over the product shelf life, including storage, shipment, and intended use, is one of the most critical aspects in the development and commercialization of the cell and gene therapy products. So if I understand that correctly, the um, CCI, so the container closure integrity, um, is more than just the different expansion coefficients of the stopper and the cap and the vial. Um, you were also talking about the vacuum that is uh, um, required to create yeah. these uh, conditions. Um, so I understand this is a very complex system. And of course, new procedures bring new challenges with them. Exactly. You, you are totally right. We have to consider the packaging as, as really a system. It's, uh, it's many factors are influencing. And yes, indeed, it's, it's a, a lot of new challenges, but it's also an exciting opportunity for innovation, no? Of course, of course, um, especially if you work with a partner. Um, but of course, the two of us wouldn't be talking here um, if there wasn't already a promising solution available. Um, maybe can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So, and yeah, there was, there was no, no really, or, you know, some, we are really at the beginning of this new techno, of, of this new development. So, ex and we, we, we were not able to solve this challenge by our own. So, sh a short, fun, a reliable partner in Arimo life. And we combined our area of expertise, verified and pre-qualified our created system to support our customer. So a short ISO glass vial and a reded lyocap. 
make sense? Yes, it does. So, so you tested the components that are already available and um, tried to find solutions to make them work for the new conditions um, that are required. Exactly. Great. It's, it, I, this is so exciting. I, I love it what can happen when different minds come together and find new solutions. So you mentioned earlier that the two of you, so Shot and Arma Live together, have uh, performed a joint study and uh, about the container closure and integrity of the two products you just mentioned. Can you explain a little bit more what you did there? Yeah, sure. So we evaluated the performance of, 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 a, of a system. So the so short ISO glass vials means the 2R 13 millimeter neck and the 6R 20 millimeter neck and the ready Lyo price fit cap and versus aluminum caps at minus 80 degrees C. Uh, we also tested different rubber formulations and we measured the oxygen ingress in the headspace of the vial at room temperature. So we measured at T0, T6 months, T1 year and T2 years and uh, the CCI method used was headspace analysis from Lighthouse. So it's, that's, uh, that's the base of the study. Okay, so that was the setup. A lot of scientific terms here for me. Very interesting. Um, so um, when you performed the study, in essence, what were the key findings that you took away from this? Okay, so yeah, we demonstrated that. Okay, we, first of all, we did not observe any significant ingress of oxygen over time, means less than 0.2% variation, atmos atmosphere variation. Short isoglass vials 2R and 6R and Aremon Redilio press fit caps offer a suitable solution for storage of gene therapy products at minus 80 degrees C. Aremon Redilio press fit cap ensure a consistent CCI over two years while providing a superior alternative to aluminum caps for RTU usage. And we can propose, you know, as, as a system, we can propose a pre-qualified packaging solution for gene therapy product storage. That was really the target. Are there any further benefits to this particular combination of vials and press caps? Oh, yes. Yes, there are. So the, the pre-qualified system offer additional key advantages. First of all, every component is quite standard. So we, we didn't introduce any new primary materials like, rub, for example, rubber and glass are well known versus the extractable and leachables. So it's well known. So it's also allow the convention to use the conventional filling lines which are very uh, significant advantages in terms of time to market and security, of course. And uh, I am obviously thinking about the current race to produce the COVID-19 vaccines here. So having everything standard and well-known, and it's, it's, you can use it very, very shortly to put a new drug on the market. Makes sense. And of course, you can rely on uh, tried and tested solutions and just make sure that they work for the new situation as well. Exactly, because it's a pre-qualified system. Makes sense and makes it so, so much easier for, um, for pharma companies to actually use it because it's been tested already. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, great. So Luz, I know that there's been a white paper <laughs> published about your study already. Um, I've seen it in the PA letter. Yes, that's correct. So, uh, if anyone listening to us and would like to have uh, some further reading on this, so please do not hesitate to contact me directly at luce.soye at shot.com. I would be glad to forward you this, this white paper to you. Thank you, Luce. That probably makes it a lot easier to, to read all the technical details um, that you explained earlier. Great. Um, so I think... Um, We've, we've got covered a lot today. I've learned so many new things. Uh, thank you so much. Um, it was a great pleasure to have you here today. Thank you, Anne, for this opportunity. 
and uh, and again uh, for for the people listening to us so we are thrilled to provide our customer with a simple pre-qualified and already available solution for gene therapy drugs primary container solutions so you are welcome to come to us great thanks for these words and these um, and with this, I would like to close our podcast today. Um, to all our, of our audience, um, we hope you will all join us soon again for our next session. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, please feel free to check out our Pharmaversity website um, at shop.com slash digital minus pharmaversity. Um, and there you can find all our previous uh, podcasts or you can also sign up for any of our upcoming webinars to learn more of, about what we're doing at SHOT and how we might be able to support you with your current projects. Perfect. So thank you everybody for listening. Thank you Luz for being here and goodbye. Thank you, goodbye.